We used to say to somebody, what are you? And, and we, if you said, what are you to somebody, everybody knew what that meant. We're standing in the midst of, you know, what used to be the neighborhood I grew up in, and then it all got leveled. Lawrence Community Works was sort of founded on the tail end of a fight. When there were no malls, Essex Street in Lawrence was an incredibly thriving uh, place for shopping and, and, and hanging out and eating. And, and Essex Street was just an amazingly vibrant uh, place where people would go. Essex Street itself was one of the most incredibly vibrant and like metropolitan kind of uh, cosmopolitan kind of places for people to go shopping and, and come and hang out and go to go have dinner and and. Uh, it's, uh, it, still has, it's, it's, it still has a lot of retail on it, but nowhere near what it used to be in terms of the vibrancy. There were some parking lots that we would just play, play ball in and stuff. And, uh, um, you know, a lot of times we'd play outs. We'd take a rubber ball, a sponge rubber ball, and throw it up against the wall. And this is the YWCA, that's the YMCA. Played many a basketball game there, I'll tell you. Every Tuesday and Thursday, noontime walk across the common and come play hoops. The popcorn guy was always right here. And if you see that, you see that brick wall there that has, that's beautiful, it's got like, it's got like, a, like the caps and it has like a slope right here, this yeah. little brick wall. Okay. That wrapped all the way around this. There was a beautiful Victorian building here. That's Lawrence High School, which is beautiful. And there was a beautiful Victorian building here. Part of the urban renewal, meant knocking all that, knocking it down to, bu to build the public library here. And they built this edifice because they knocked down the house that I grew up in, which was a beautiful 11 built. It almost had the kind of brick, it, it was blonde brick. The, front, the facade was blonde brick like, the, uh, the, like Lawrence High School. It was a beautiful building. And my grandfather had it built when he came over from Italy. And so I was like, so, you know, I lived in one of the 11 flats uh, above the uh, first floor. Uh, commercial space so I was really bummed out when it was you know being knocked down and stuff and uh, and, and then I but then I Isabel made me point out and said hey all the families here are being displaced too and that's how we got involved there was really no plan for um, providing for the residents who had been displaced and we dis we discovered that the city was trying to um, was trying to uh, eliminate the possibility of affordable housing in this neighborhood. And that was absolutely unacceptable to some of us, um, you know, uh, like Isabel Melendez, who c originally kind of got me, got put my attention to it, because I was more concerned about, you know, losing the place where, where, you know, I had lived in, that I told you was a beautiful uh, brick building. And then all the rest of the neighbors that we had. And where, where we're standing is where Savastano's restaurant used to be, and there was all kinds of cool stuff here. And I was like, oh, this neighborhood is being torn down. But Isabel pointed, Melendez pointed out to me that there's also going to be a lot of residents displaced. And what are we going to do about that? So we decided to fight and call under a, uh, the banner of Immigrant City Community Housing Corporation. And we succeeded in building this development that you see right here. You know, this comp housing complex that we built um, did not come easy. The, the Lawrence Redevelopment Authority was in charge of of, of choosing a developer and we had to fight and threaten to sue the city in order to get the rights to build this and uh, we um, eventually succeeded and this is now a co-op it's, it's an affordable housing co-op um, where uh, 140 families live they they reopened the process they canceled the first the, the, the original the successful bidder that they had awarded it to in the first place withdrew and they restart the, the Lawrence Redevelopment Authority started up a sec a, another process and we were the successful bidder on that one and um, we were able to build this in the course of building it we realized how uh, we would we teamed up with a with a CDC from Boston and we realized which is a community development corporation and we realized how important it is to have a community development corporation. So that's why we started Lawrence Community Works. Uh, at the time, it was called Heritage Common Com Community Development Corporation. And the name of this complex is Heritage Common uh, um, Co-ops. Yeah, I've always, been, I've always been at the core very optimistic. And I, I feel like I'm connected to God's creation in a powerful way. And I feel optimistic in life in general. 
So I feel that way about the city too.